Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be talking about the different resources that could be really helpful for people who have no coding language and are interested in getting started learning how to program. I know a lot of us are under a lockdown right now, but I think that this could be a really good time to sort of dive in and reinvent yourself and maybe learn new skills. And one of those new skills you can learn is programming. This is gonna be a video for people who have no programming experience and I'm gonna provide a couple options that I think that you should check out if you're interested in learning how to program. These resources are going to be free and a lot of them are going to be extremely beginner friendly and extremely helpful resources that can help you get started learning how to program. We all learn differently, so make sure when you're watching this video to choose the resource that works with your learning style. Not everyone learns the same way. We all have different ways of learning, so you wanna make sure you're thinking about your learning style when you decide to choose one of these resources. Also guys, I know you might be watching this video and have also watched like 10 of these videos on where exactly to get started. You've read articles. Don't do that. You don't wanna waste your time doing so much research on all the different resources that are available. What you wanna do is just actually get started, find a resource, stick to it, and stop watching videos about this. <laughs> just get to it as soon as you can. So the first resource I recommend is taking an introduction to computer science course. So you'll find an introduction to computer science course on so many different platforms like edX, Coursera, and even Udemy. There are so many benefits to taking an introduction to computer science course. A lot of these courses are extremely comprehensive, so they go through a wider range of topics that are really relevant to you. So you don't only learn how to program, you also learn about different things that could help you in your journey to becoming a software engineer or just to sort of picking up programming as a hobby. A lot of these classes also give you a very thorough explanation of why things work the way they do and will really serve as a really good foundation for you going forward. Some introduction to computer science classes even help you think through different problems so then you kind of understand how you get from a problem to actually the code that can help you solve that problem. That will provide a really good foundation for beginners that are just getting started. Like, And of course, you're going to also learn the core fundamentals like you know, primitive data types, abstract data types, like conditional statements. Um, like you're just gonna learn so much if you do an introduction to computer science course, you're gonna learn the programming fundamentals as well as theoretical things like, and learning how to think. And on top of all those learnings, you're also going to get to actually practice what you learn. So that's another benefit of doing these introduction to computer science courses. But of course, let's be real, doing an introduction to computer science course is not for everyone. A lot of these courses are lecture based and not everyone wants to sit through like an hour long lecture. A lot of people might find it boring. It also takes a very special person who's gonna listen through an hour long lecture and then take the initiative and do the projects that are assigned to you like for the course. Like not everyone is capable of doing that and that's okay. There are other alternatives that I will list going forward in this video. Also, like if you if you choose this um, as an option and you find that it's extremely boring, it's gonna be really easy for you to lose motivation and sort of give up. So you wanna make sure if you're gonna decide to do an introduction to computer science course, like it's gonna be a really good match for your learning type and your learning style. And let me be real, like a lot of the courses, introduction to computer science courses I've seen online are extremely intense and they're fast paced. Plus they go for a very long period of time. A lot of these uh, courses are college courses that are based on semester schedules. So some courses are 12 weeks long and that can be really intimidating for a beginner. And that's something to also consider when you're deciding whether to choose an introduction to computer science course or not. So the number one class I would recommend in the introduction to computer science courses category is the Harvard CS50 course. Harvard CS50 course is an amazing course. Like everywhere you look online, you'll see so many people who were excited that they took that course as their first step towards learning how to program. The lecturer is very excited and upbeat, so he makes you want to keep pushing forward and learning as much as possible. Another thing I like about this course is that it's pretty practical too. In the last couple weeks of the course, you actually get to build a very practical project and you can sort of choose what path you want to go down. You can do iOS development, you can do web development, you can do Android development. They really emphasize size you gaining practical knowledge from taking this course. Another thing I like is that there's a huge community of people online who are taking this course as well. There are Facebook groups for people who are taking this course. There are like people on Reddit who are taking this course. So you have a large community of people who kind of will encourage you to continue taking this course as you self-learn. 
definitely make sure to check out the Harvard CS50 course down below. So the next platform that I would recommend you check out if you're just getting started learning how to program are interactive learning platforms. These are platforms like Free Code Camp, Code Academy, and Udacity. So these are platforms that prioritize interactive learning. So what happens in an interactive learning course is that you get like a little paragraph explaining what the topic you're learning and then you get to immediately code out what you've learned. I think this can be a really great way for beginners to get started learning how to program because you're getting that instant feedback about whether if your code works or if it doesn't work. It's not only gently easing you into learning how to program, but you're also getting that immediate feedback and immediate application of what you've learned. And another benefit is the fact that these platforms really break down topics into very small sections. So it's really easy to understand what you're learning. Plus, like it's very self-paced. So because everything's broken down in small sections, you can kind of move at your own pace. You don't have to wait for an entire like hour long lecture and you know, like then have to do the homework. It's just like you're working through each problem piece by piece. And I feel like that's a really good place for a lot of beginners to get started learning how to program. Just like I talked about with the introduction to computer science course, there are cons for taking this path and learning through an interactive learning platform. They kind of gloss over really major topics. Um, and I think that's something you wanna take into consideration too when you're deciding to do these interactive platforms. Honestly, what I would recommend is maybe you can start with Free Code Camp or you can start with an interactive learning platform. And then once you're done with that, maybe then move on to an introduction to computer science course. Then you're kind of getting the best of both worlds and you're setting yourself up to be a very successful programmer because you're learning the fundamentals and it, you're gonna be motivated because you're starting with like a more enjoyable and fun way to get started learning how to program. Another con I wanna take into consideration is the fact that with at least Free Code Camp, there isn't really an alternative for Python. It seems to be very web development focused. So if you're someone who's actually interested in web development, then this is definitely something you wanna do. But if you're someone who's more uh, interested in backend or other things, like maybe this specific platform might not be the best for you. I hope this was helpful to sort of figure out what resources might be good to get started with when you're learning how to program. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will do my best to answer them. Also, make sure to like, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. I put a lot of time and effort in this video and any like and any like comment I get really means a lot to me. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.